Welcome to our latest rebroadcast, podcast number 77. Pastor Paul with Mike from COT discuss geopolitical dynamics, featuring Mike from COT on the End Generation Project. Originally aired on May 23, 2024, exclusively on Council of Time Com. Check the link in the description below. Join Michael from Council of Time as we delve into eschatology amidst today's challenges in this captivating episode. To gain deeper insights, visit the Council of Time's official website linked below. We're committed to offering truth, hope, and assistance to those battling addiction while seeking divine guidance. Your backing fuels our mission to lead individuals towards truth, sobriety, and readiness for the perilous times foretold in Scripture. Join our exclusive Locals community for EGP family members and enjoy early access to exciting content. Thank you for being an integral part of the End Generation Project's success. Before diving into today's rebroadcast podcast, episode 77, Pastor Paul with Mike from COT discuss geopolitical dynamics. We're excited to introduce our new merchandise line. Our selection includes t-shirts, mugs, and bags that directly support the operation of this channel. Every purchase helps sustain our content creation efforts. Shop now and make a meaningful impact. Blessings to all. Mike from around the world. Mike Paul. <laughs> Let me see, which one are you coming out of? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming right. the uh, headsets here. There we go. You got me. Okay. How you doing, Mike? Well, I'm doing pretty good trying to find out which uh, headset you're coming out of. Which headset am I coming out of? How many headsets you got? Well, um, you got a few. Evidently, none are no good. Let me see. This one, <laughs> you, this you one gotta, work. You got to find me, Mike. I'm, I'm, I'm in there. I'm in there. Mike right. from the world joining us tonight, folks. It's, 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 it's going to be an epic program. Yeah. Uh, it's there already been a there decent one. It's technology. It's technology. I'm hearing your name. I hear you talking, Mike. Can you hear me? Yeah, but it's awful. Uh oh. That's better. Right no, now. We have another problem. We got a problem. Hang on. Let Mike figure it out. He's got to push a button somewhere. I see some Pass yeses. I see. Yes, I hear you, Mike. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I do see some yeses on that, and I see a few noes. Okay. Don't well, don't freak they... out. Don't freak out. Okay. Hold on, Pastor. Just a second. Hold I'll, on. I'll, I'll, hang on. Uh, I'll hang on. I'll hang on, Mike. Is weird. Well, it looks cool. I'm not going to do it, okay, but it does look cool. I'm saying it looks cool because it looks like a gladiator, like a... All right, never mind. A, a, I don't... A, if it connects, it does. End if of it days, it does not. soldier for Christ, all right? All right, Mike, you doing all right now? Doing good. Okay. All right. Wow. Uh, we're talking pole shift. We're only eight days away from that webinar. Of course, I interviewed you yesterday mike your presentation was amazing um um but we want to talk also before we maybe talk some on that i want to i want to get right into this uh we did a we did a patreon that was um extraordinary and um we're not going to share that information on this program but we'll we'll, we'll, just, we'll let people let us watch the and listen to the Patreon one, but I just thought I'd name this show World War Three because of China now. Okay, so we got we got the Middle East issue. We got a dead Iranian president and foreign minister. We have an Israeli prime minister and defense secretary that have warrants for their arrest to be taken to the International Criminal Court in The Hague, right. which President Macron today said, go arrest them. I'm all for it, okay, which I was just, and the EU has too, and so is the UN. Um, we have China, because a new president was just elected in Taiwan, and China has, is doing what they call punishment drills as they're doing a blockade around Taiwan. This is getting very serious. Mike, can you, t and then I'm not even brought up Russia and Ukraine yet. Can you tell us where are we in this scope of uh, a potentially turning into a World War III. Do we need to take it in three sections? Go ahead. Well, you know, Russia, uh-oh, the sound changed. Did you hear that? I can hear you. You need to be a little louder if you can. A little louder? That... Oh, boy, it just shifted right in the middle of nowhere. I can hear you. I'm going to see you. 
I got mine turned up now all the way. Let's see what you sound like now. All right, testing. Good. Good. Good to go. Yep. Okay. Well, well, the um, <clears throat> Russia, of course, they continue down this path. They're not going to stop. That should be obvious. China is, they're doing what they do best, right? They've been entering and entering and entering towards Taiwan, right? And it's really time right. that America may need this country and Europe. They need to find out what they're going to do without Taiwan, right? They're going to have to go ahead and find out what they're going to do without Taiwan. Um, this is going to turn into some international crisis that is, uh, you know, beyond any borders. It's just, it's, it's turning in that direction fairly quickly. Think about, think about what China has done, right? China is setting itself up um, to take Taiwan, right? They're leading in the electric car industry. Th those cars are making, are going all over the earth, right? Right now, they're doing it. They can produce them cheap. They're outpacing everybody else. They're using some of the more, uh, some of the more uh, stable battery technology, right? So they did this because they've they've been they've at least doubled their revenue. I don't know who's going over this financial data for China, but something is wrong. China just made a um, close to a trillion dollar purchase. Two of them, close to a trillion dollars, two purchases in the last time, what was it, thirty days, right? These are business purchases. Okay, so somebody is not informing everybody else about how much money China actually has. And I'm bringing up this point for a reason. Okay. Most people believe that China can, you know, something is wrong with their markets all the time, that China is failing all the time. Well, the truth be told, China has been growing for years, nonstop. Right. They are starting to lead the industry in too many different areas, right? So the propaganda is falling apart. Is yep. what's happening. Yep. And when they go take, I, when they take Taiwan, right? But they're not going to take it the way everybody thinks they're going to take it. That's not the way they're going to do it. Um, when they actually consume Taiwan, then all these other countries are going to have no choice but to deal with China concerning, you know, lots of imports and exports. They're going to have no choice, which will only place China as the number one superpower on the earth. That's right. That means we'll be number two. Semiconductors because, industry. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's a huge one. Plus, China has the ability to replicate anything they see in less than a couple of days. And with the advent of artificial intelligence, uh, most projects can be done very uniquely in, in 24 hours. So China has been empowered greatly, right? They're starting to catch up to us in the space race. Some of their weapons, we cannot figure out. Why do their fighters still have microwave shields and we do not? What? OK, um, so, so there are lots of things that the public does not know, but China is leading in these advanced fields. And all you have to do is think about it. Most of these uh, electronic innovations in the computer world, right, come from China. That's where they come from, period. OK, right. So you have a lot of but you have a lot of propaganda in the world that makes it seem like China is third rate. You have yeah. a lot of propaganda well, that makes it seem like uh, Russia somehow is falling apart. Russia is pristine. Do you know that? Russia is pristine. Now, there have been some paid folks who have talked against Russia from within Russia, but right. it's all falling apart because according to all these news reports, Russia should have collapsed, you know, several years ago, yeah. right? So you have folks in the USA that understand this. And anybody who really understands it, the number one priority is going to be to get America back on its feet again fast, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because we're going to lose. I mean, we're just in that we're, we're in a we're in a world that does not understand this this these um, these these unfixable ideologies that some of these people hold, right? They're, they're just dead, right? It's kind of like when you start to hear certain people speak. You've heard it all before. It's the same thing over yeah. and over again, yeah. right? It's propaganda, and it's not working. So China is starting to lead. North Korea is being bolstered or picked up by China, right? They're being utilized. So uh, China is a is an attack dog, believe it or not, or, or uh, North Korea is an attack dog. Right? Yeah, they the, really the, are. They're the little brother that goes out on the, the tip of the spear, or maybe even for China. 
and keep in mind they have the biggest stockpile of chemical biological weapons on the planet and nobody can do anything about North it, Korea right? that's right wow that's right they have the biggest stockpile They're, they are uh, largely they somebody has been talking propaganda about their nuclear power uh, the nuclear uh, missile program that's been a big lie they can hit the u.s you know okay think of it this way they have a launch vehicle that can launch satellites right two of those vehicles helped china launch satellites this came from north korea they're supposed to be you know barely making it so mm. why in the world is it their launch vehicle and technology being used by china and they went to the moon twice <laughs> What's going on here, right? right? So the propaganda is starting to break down. So now people are about to see the reality of how the world is really set up beyond the propaganda, without the lies, without the, uh, you know, somebody always molding the picture. And this, by the way, this is why the Internet is um, enemy number one, believe it or not. So uh, artificial intelligence will fix that shortly. But um so long as there's, you know, people have their own ideas, can come to their own conclusions. But just about everybody can see this. Something is amiss with all this propaganda. It's not matching up. You know, it, it is it is just that propaganda. The Ukraine is falling apart. It's falling apart. Putin will soon take the Ukraine. Do you know that? So without NATO intervention in the next two or three months, bye bye, Ukraine. That's how serious. Yeah, I, I, well, they have made, as you said, in the last month, they have taken city after city and town and village, and, and, and the Ukrainian front line just keeps falling back. And I keep thinking, it don't matter what they passed in Congress and, and, you know, and the president, uh, uh, you know, they can't deliver quick enough. It, I think that the American public no longer wants the, the, the tax dollars to pour into Ukraine anymore. Uh, you know, I'm just saying it's what the, you hear that. So do you think in the next two to three months that that's it, Ukraine will fall? I, if they don't do anything, that's precisely what will happen. But take note, you have Macron, right? Okay, let's talk about that. Training, he's training troops right now, a large number of troops. They know that if that corridor is lost, Russia is going to, they're going to block everything they can. But Russia will essentially be put back in a power, power. Uh, position and then the usa at that point will be will have to bend to whatever russia you know demands they'll grow without checks and balances but you see what's happening here there's a government that wants to dictate all these other countries but there are people within this country who don't have that type mindset right right they don't i think you know what i'm talking yes, about yes i do and so this idea of governing the world because they don't know how to govern themselves is falling <laughs> apart eventually children in the house grow up right even the bible says do not provoke your children to wrath and what's right. happening is this one um th this ideology that is largely held in this country is provoking uh, some of these other countries to wrath and by the way we're the youngest country in the world we are we are uh, yeah, we're only and we're less we than have, 250 years old. That's right. We have control of everything. We do, yeah. but not by honorable means. See, that's the problem. It used to be an honorable business. Mm -hmm. It is not anymore. It's not. And so a transition must come. That's on the way too. Um, these other countries, they know this. See, they know what the public is not hearing, and it's all it's unfortunate. And this is why the the mind of a Christian right now is more important than any other mind on the planet, here's Amen. why. Amen. Most people come to conclusions based off what they can see. Pastor Paul, I'm telling you right now, there are too many components people cannot see. Okay. And so when they cannot see them, they won't include them in their, in their own uh, uh, conclusions that they have about anything. And historically, you know, when people utilize what they can see, these components always change. And a person ends up having to go back to square one because they didn't know about this other component, for example, Russia, right? And the Ukraine, people really thought that NATO could fight off Russia from the Ukraine. You know, that war wouldn't happen. That was false. People thought China could never come to the technological level they're at now. That was false. People thought Iran would never have supersonic missiles. They didn't even use those things, right? That was false. These guys have more supersonic missiles than anybody right now. Did you know that? No, I did not. They have more supersonic missiles than anybody right now. So, so, yes, we're about to see a breakout of what's real. Is this, not not 
what's hidden, but okay. what's real. Okay, so I don't want to, you know, I'm not going political, but I did see President Trump's speech in the Bronx tonight. I will say it was his greatest speech he's ever done because it was truly from his heart. He spoke to the people of New York. He told them how he wanted to help them fix their city. And he, and he spoke on all the hot buttons of the things that's frustrating those folks. And there was this massive crowd. I'm thinking, this can't be true. But uh, the inertia from that New Jersey and now from the Bronx, New York, and then you start to feel that groundswell. Let me ask you, is it because we really better do something fast um, or we're going to go down uh, with these other nations that you just mentioned? And I'm not just saying from a military standpoint. I'm talking about economically, socially. We're being ripped apart at the seams. We've got to fix this thing quick. Do you, do you sense that is coming? Do you see that wind of change, or are the stone steps uh, around the corner? Well, I can't alter what I see, but I'll tell you this. Somebody asked me, they said, uh, you know, Trump going to trial and this, that, and other is going to hurt Trump. I said, no because the Lord does things in, in certain patterns. And all you have to do is know his patterns before God sets anybody up in leadership, right? They must, they must undergo a crucible. They must be proven. God tries all things okay. to see if it's of him or not. Okay. And so the Trump sat during this trial. Now, I know people were frustrated doing everything else, but take note what happened. It takes a lot of endurance to sit in a trial, to hear rebuke after rebuke after rebuke about yourself right so the only way to survive that is by way of truth in other words what i'm saying is trump has changed if you take notice yeah. his whatever speech he's given is changing it, he did yeah. have the rhetoric at first right yeah, because yeah. he was a business guy from new york but he's changing he's becoming more sincere much he's he's much mature more in certain tonight. areas and so tonight when he was speaking he was speaking or when he was, he spoke to the people, right? Yes, he did. But that's as, as a consequence of all these rebukes, you could see um, humility coming in. Yep. You could see him considering some things, right? Yep. He was truly uh, remorseful about some things. He yep. didn't, you know, he knows not to go that, just like all of us, all of us grow, all of us, all of us change, right? Um, somebody said, well, Mike, you know, uh, but what they told me a long time ago, they said, I bet you we can find some dirt on Mike. I said, well, let me help you out. You can probably find a whole bunch. About five minutes. But people change. Right. right? People is that, change. So that's the people problem. Grow. People grow. And there's another thing. People change. And some people always judge. And they got this huge they're tube. Always, they got they're two always going to do that. They got two before in their eye. But they, they, they spend their time picking splinters out of mine. I got splinters. I mean, look, you probably got some. I, I got, I look, I got so many faults right now. It's scary, you know. But I also got some grace in my life. I found out that God loves me and forgives me, and then I forgive others. And it kind of works that grow. way. That's how you grow. It helps you grow. Yeah. That's right. Everybody goes through that process. Nobody starts out perfect. No. That's what Christ is for, right? So Amen. if we truly, because every time a Christian sees true evil, what do they end up doing when they learn what evil is? They say, I want no part of that. I'm gone. <laughs> That's I'm right. Here. Lord, That's forgive me right. for that. And they're gone. They do that every single time. Um, anyway, back to back to World War Three. Yes. Yes. All this is being set up, Pastor Paul. Right. You're about to see countries make faster and faster moves. Right. OK. Now, hopefully nobody out there is getting frightened over this because they're about to see some frightening things. We've been blessed so far to get our stuff together on on all levels of 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 uh, our lives we've been blessed for time to get some things ready right Amen. yes we've been given indication after indication that things are not going so well that everything is changing everything is changing right and when you see um people who were once flamboyant become humble and that true leaders step out right now you yep. know it's time yeah they know it's time right uh, they have advisors. They understand the delicate position the USA is in. Can we be lost? Here's what I believe, because it was I've been shown something. I can't drift away from it. But at some point, when everything is uncovered in America, right, there are going to be some folks who turn out not to be what everybody thought they were. Mm -hmm. Now, nobody has to go and uncover anybody else. Because what's happening, if, if nobody can take notice of this, what's happening is that, you know, that scripture where it says what was what was um, uh, whispered in secret is going to be shouted from the rooftops. Yes. Right. Something yes. to that effect. Yes. Well, it's not that, you know, 
I'm going to tell somebody else's secrets or somebody else is going to tell my secrets. No, that's not the key. What's happening is the world's becoming conducive of anybody, which means you can become anything you want to be, step out in public and the public will accept you. Right. There there are people changing their bodies right now to look more like aliens. True. Right now they're doing this. Yeah. Looking, they look like lizards and everything else. So we we are actually in a society where any and everything is acceptable. Everything goes. Everything goes. That's right. right. So now a person has no shame in saying what they truly believe. A person has no shame in saying what they truly stand for. They have no shame. And so as these people come forward, there are going to be some ruthless people who never agreed with America. They are Americans from every walk of life. But they're going to come forward under the – they're going to be under a, a, some sort of loyalty thing with a very dark power within this country. They will start seizing things. Why? Because we're the ones that let the enemy – and in the Bible, again, it says the enemy is of your own household. The enemy is not over there. The enemy is close to us. So the enemy is right here in this land. We know this through sleeper cells. They lost count of most sleeper cells back in 2017 and 18. They totally lost count, right? They didn't know they were there. But people, they had intelligence. And just in case somebody is trusting the numbers given by propaganda, right? Where were the numbers for the storms that are happening right now consuming people's lives? That's true. Where are the numbers for the heat that was experienced last year and, and twice that heat this year, right? <laughs> Where, where's the emergency in the Gulf because of the flames that are about to shoot out the ocean? Oh, my there, God. You don't see an emergency, do you? No. You don't see an emergency. So one day you'll wake up and they're going to say the Gulf is on fire, right? Yep. Where's that emergency? Where is it at? You don't see it, but people know about it. And so what I'm saying is that there are things happening. Nobody is saying a word about it because they're not visible, right? They don't they don't really help out their little paradigm yet. But that whole paradigm is about to shift. So are We're you saying the a- media is deliberately uh, uh, just totally ignoring things that are going on with the wor- with this earth? The media cannot the, uh, since the time of Kennedy. The media is forbidden to report. They, they have to have approval to report things. If there is a gag order, they can't speak, period. Right? So they're essentially told what they can do. This is why you have these governmental um, uh, things that happen, and all of a sudden, everybody is hush-hush. Right? This is why you have a Democratic support system and a Republican support system, and they constantly feud because they want the people to feud. Yes, that Think is about true. It. They need the people divided. Every time the people feud, they don't come together on any ideas that are above Republican and Democrat to really serve the country, right? Then, then you have these people in the back that can continue to have power. So long as the civilians or the populace stays in confusion, well, they're not ruling anything. All they're doing is hoping that a ruler comes forward and they have forgotten that they are America. Amen. Right? Amen. The people are America, Amen. but they're not doing anything because every single person will say, well, I can't do anything by myself. Think about that. Right. So right. they have that they have that ideology. They're essentially tranquilized. Right. While everybody else just they do anything and everything. Right. Nobody can deny these times uh, people are having issue with there's no there's hard. People are having nightmares with health coverage. Nightmares. Oh, I know. I that, know. that stuff just doesn't work. It doesn't work. So at any rate, America is going to have to face some very tough times. This at a time, right? Yep. When real missiles are about to be unleashed. Because with Macron and his Napoleon style uh, uh, leadership, right? Yep. This guy is going to go forward with force to enact his, <sighs> what he thinks is necessary. He has taken control of Europe he is taking control and in, in, in the absence of all these leaders not doing anything the UK is not yeah, doing anything yeah. so he's essentially taking control of that too is this going to be essentially, is if he takes if he takes 100,000 french soldiers and tries and tries to move into ukraine is he getting ready to blow this thing sky high is he about ready to drop the ball and you're saying he's, he's doing it because the lack of a world leader strong enough that's right. So he, what he did was he stepped up, yeah, right? Yeah. The number of troops this guy has, has is training right now under his watch. Past of all, there are almost a million soldiers training right now. Because of all the NATO soldiers under his Forget watch. Forget 100,000. Forget 100,000. Yeah. Because they're going to have to go into more. If they go into the Ukraine, right, 
they have to cover. You you have Poland out there. You have the all these different regions. Somebody even asked. Somebody in. even asked me. Said, could you please ask Mike? Is Russia about to attack Estonia? Russia's going to take everything it can, and anything that gets in the way, right? Okay. He's going to wipe it away. Go ahead. I didn't want to. Tra- He's break not your stopping. Train of He's going to continue to go forward, right? This is why Macron has to set up a shield, essentially a shield or wall or defense wall from in all these places he's got to cover a lot of territory and it's going to have to be shock and all all the way right that's going to be one strategy that can actually uh be successful can against russia that? what that means is that means a lot of death he's got he's already training the troops can he do it they're though? already putting the plans together yes they're putting is it he together could, will You're, he be successful is what i'm trying to say i know he sure can. he will be okay he, sure he can be so because he can be though passable bigger weapons are going to be used Mm. see because the nature of warfare is different it doesn't matter how many people you have right that used to work that used to work in the absence of of of, because nobody wanted to use a nuclear weapon nobody wanted to use a particle weapon nobody wanted to use uh some of the lasers that they have down which are devastating right and so but now it's not that way we have their question marks over Putin, question marks over China, question marks over North Korea, right? So I suspect North Korea is going to be assigned the task of hitting us. That's what I suspect. Wow. I suspect China is going to sit in the clear because it's going to be more like a yeah, more of a draconian head force. They're going to let North. Time. In other words, they're going to let North Korea become their proxy. They're going to commit to it, just like Hezbollah hit yep. Israel very hard. Israel's on fire from Hezbollah, yep. right? Yep. Tonight. Tonight. So. Uh, and in fact, the hits were incredibly hard, and it was devastating. Anyway, but um, I didn't World know that. War Three is Tonight. right around the corner. It's, it's starting to break out because people are beginning. They're tired of the same movements that produce nothing. And how long were people supposed to support the Ukraine to stave off Putin, but make no progress in what they're doing? I hate to tell people, but. The, what can the Ukraine do? If Putin wants the Ukraine, the only way to sustain the Ukraine is to continue to give it weapons and money to fight Putin off. That's the only way. But they can't you're beat talking him. About, but they can't you're talking beat about, him. Uh, no. Yeah. So then what, the only objective there is to continue that war, to have a front that will always be fought. People have come to the conclusion that's not going to work. That's not a solution. Right. No. Uh, short term and due to due to the urgency of it. Right. That seemed like it was a good idea. Not now. And now you have folks hunting, hunting down this this cabinet of Israel. This is going to be horrible. I mean, hunting. Let's They're talk hunting. This about. So, OK, we, we, we've got we, in other words, you, you said to us months ago, they're going to disarm Israel. First time you said, I said, whoa, who? I mean, there ain't no way. Yeah, I see it. You got the president of the United States leading the way on disarming Israel, refuse the shipments. He sent a message out to everyone else. If you guys want to start disarming them, you can start doing it. That 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 put in motion the International Criminal Court. If you want to arrest them, go ahead and put out arrest warrants. Now, something happened in the fog in Iran, and their president is dead, and a lot of finger pointing at this moment, you know, uh, and, and, but we'll have to watch and see how that shakes out. But I think it already put some other things in motion. So, yes. So the, the Ukraine can't win this war with Russia. We're just propping it up to hold it off to buy time That's it. That's to it. try to get our NATO troops strong enough to go back in and maybe push Russia back. Right. Well, the, their plan was just to hold them off. For, what kind of plan? Is what that? kind of plan is that? That's a plan of defeat. That's right. That's right. So their master plan was to continue to feed the Ukraine money and weapons and whatever else they needed to sustain a front with Russia. Well, that's the dumbest plan in history. Right. Right. In the meantime, in the meantime, Russia, uh, you know, who's supposed to be broke, who's supposed right. to be, uh, you know, you know, not be able to sustain this war, <laughs> has built two new submarines. How did they do that in the middle of this war, right? Well, the price also of, developed price of oil. I mean, look, uh, think thanks for not drilling, and thanks for shutting down the uh, Keystone Pipeline, and thanks for not wanting to work uh, and become energy independent. Uh, Russia did exactly what they wanted. That was drive the price of oil up, which is funding their whole war machine. Am I right? Well, 
Pastor, when if if Trump gets in the office, he's going to blow the lid off the whole thing. Yes, he right? will. Yes, he the will. People are. I'm, I'm going to say this, and people will just have to sit on this. Okay. I'm telling you now that Iran is making trillions of dollars from oil. Yes, they are. This is Iran. I believe that. I believe that. Russia is making trillions of dollars from a very special type of, uh, well, let's just say, you know, substance that deals with gas. Okay. Okay. Um, these guys, they don't really need, they, that's why we sanction them and nothing happens. Yeah. I mean, nothing happens. No, nobody cares. No. Nobody cares. They, they, they maintain the optics in front of the people, right? So they don't totally cause every American to sit in disgust. But Americans better be ready for the biggest betrayal they've ever known. When the covers comes off, when the, when the sunglasses come off, when the lid is blown, Right. It's never going back and people are going to feel betrayed because they've been believing in something that's not been real for a long time. This affects the financial systems. This will affect every single market out there. Right. It will. And it's a very dangerous subject. But this is what's going to happen. I, you know, even I didn't think it was to uh, that that what's about to be uncovered was of that magnitude. Let's just say that the money is also being propped up. Kind of like a kind of like the sunlight, right? This all this sun talk about the sun, about the these scientists, right? Oh yeah. my goodness, they they are duping the public. They come out with some article saying, "Hey, we found a way to reflect sunlight." <laughs> World War 2 go back to World War 2, that's when it began. They've been doing this since World War 2. Look at this. They know what the they know the problem with the sun. Here's they know a, the problem. With here's the a sun. scientist just test fired a cloud device oh, over Lord. over American soil with the that ultimate is... aim of blocking the sunlight. Oh my lord, that's the most <laughs> bogus article I've ever heard in my life. People, the people, you know what? Many of the people they knew it. They yeah. knew it yeah. with um with, with with all these chemtrails, right? People blew the cover off that back in there. I believe it was back in the late 90s to early 2000s. Oh, yeah, right? at least 25 and years ago. And had people came forward and said, okay, yes, we're, we're, trying to, it, we're trying to reflect sunlight back because the radiation from the sun is becoming powerful, and we don't know why, right? We don't know why. I'll, I'll tell you this now. If they were to stop putting anything in the atmosphere past all the surface of the earth, nobody would be able to live on top of this earth. What they're doing is trying to save their own behinds. Yeah. They're going to try to save the earth. They're going to try to save the trees and everything else because they, they can't, they are stuck here. These guys are stuck here. They're not going with the Lord. They already no. know this. Yep. They know, they, they, they know, know they're, know they're, they're doomed and gloomed. That's we're, right. we're leaving That's here with right. the Lord. That's right. That's right. So no Christian should ever even take a thought. You know, I hear a lot of Christians, they say, well, I hope the Lord comes and gets it. Don't worry about that. Sometimes we act like we don't trust yes. what Christ is he's going coming. to do. Christ knows what he's going to do. He's not going to forget about anybody. So no. nobody, nobody who truly believes in him. They don't have to worry about staying or going. Plus, it is Christ who initiates everything. Amen. He does. Nobody else does. So not one Christian has to worry about when they're going to leave, they're going to leave at the perfect time, whether they have to. And if they stay, then glorify God for it because he has something for you to do. Amen. Right. Amen. So we're now stuck here like everybody else. The Lord will determine when we go. He has the keys of hell, death and the grave. Amen. He will determine that. Amen. Right. But but I, th I think that, Pastor, people are going to get frightened. Yes. But we shouldn't act on that spirit of fear now, should we? No, no, we shouldn't. Because uh, fear is a lack of faith. So. Don't 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 get worried. Don't be. You know, right. he's, Jesus even said, We're, "Don't be weary in well doing, uh, right. for you'll reap in due season." In well doing, not. that's right. right. That's right. Okay, so now you've that's talked right. about Russia and Ukraine. You've talked about China. Taiwan is a, is is an issue, and and for sure, I'm actually thinking, and, and I want to go to Iran and the Middle East here in a minute, but I actually remember Putin going to the Winter Olympics in Beijing, shaking hands with President Xi, and they both discussed that if Russia takes Ukraine, China said, yeah, that's fine, we won't bother yeah. you, and, and uh, vice versa. So Putin went and took, uh, is in the process of taking Ukraine, right 12 days after the Olympics. Now we're going to the Summer Olympics, it's going to be in Paris, where Macron is sitting. Uh, mm. I, I wonder what's going to come out of that, and does China go home and make a move later this summer 
toward Taiwan. Uh, well, some kind of move. First of all, I have this. I have a concern. Okay. Ever since Israel and Hamas uh, initiated this, this this battle was initiated. I have a deep concern. The global sentiment towards Israel is not good. No. Right. No, you're the right. The world is siding with Hamas. It's very, it's, it's very difficult to get a person to see. You know, they say they're supporting the Gazan people or Palestine. That's what they say. What they don't understand is that Hamas and the Gazan people are one and the same. Hamas is not some foreign entity that came from planet, you know, uh, um, uh, lasagna. That's not what they're from. They're of that people. They're embedded with that Arab group. And so they can be anybody. Right. It is simply a person who has a grudge against Israel who is in that place. They can be anybody. And yes. that's what's happening. You cannot point somebody out and say, well, they're a fighter and they're not. You can't do that. You can't do that. Plus, since the Gazan people have been displaced, do you not know that most, if not all, of these young children who were 17, 18, 19 and 20 hate Israel for what happened? Yeah. Right. They hate it. Why? Because of internal rhetoric cooler heads did not prevail and it's very difficult it's very difficult to find out who's a fighter and who is not so now the whole country has become essentially uh, an entity that hates israel right they already have they were just covering that up you know how a person may not like you and then they you know kind of talk nice to get close to you only to say something worse when they're close to you <laughs> that's how they are yeah that's how they are and so now you're about what you're about to see we have the olympics coming up this yep. is just how is this is unsafe. I know that people want to normalize. This is not the, the time to normalize. This is the time to make sure that everybody, that, that everybody of every nation is sober, right? Is sober and knows exactly what they're doing. This isn't time to go to a party. And I do realize that they believe that the Olympics brings the world together. It does for those who ignore the state of affairs wow, that's going on that's around right, the world. That's right. When they get together, Pastor Paul, the Muslim, the the actually the populace there of the radical side of things, they unite is incredibly high. Yeah. How in the world they're having problems now, and they know they know Pastor Paul that if people meet together like that, right? One, you know, I hate to say this, but either one bioweapon, one chemical weapon, or one small attack nuclear weapon right is going to be a big deal i know for a fact at some point the uk is going to be irradiated i know that for a fact whoa i um, mean that was another one person said, i know that please. for a fact I I know two that people fact. one one guy has said please paul ask mike about russia attack in estonia and another guy said please paul ask mike about the attack on uk you know for yeah, a I know fact. That, that, I know you know for, for a, fact. a fact that what's going to happen to the UK? The UK is going to be irradiated. That's going to be an irradiated place. I know that for a fact. Um, that is an unbelievable this, this, statement to make, Mike. You know how big a statement that is to make. It's the it's the United Kingdom. Well, that's that's what's real. That's not propaganda. And you know it for a fact because people have dropped the ball. They have dropped the ball. Um, there are things that they, you know, they just don't have an ability. So they're going to be nuked. Find anymore. You know, they lost something a while back. They haven't found it. And it is, it is, um, well, as I had to say, safe to say, but it's, it's a pretty good bet that um, there are certain devices planted in certain places I see. for strategic reasons. Wow. They don't have accountability or control over these things. And it's too, too vast of an area to find. Right. Another issue is during the Olympic Games, you have the consolidation of all these people. They can check everybody they want. Yep. Right. They can do that. Uh, what they better have is is they better have some. They don't have an ability to sniff out certain things. So that's the problem. Right. They're right now. They're trying to bring all the dogs that are capable of sniffing out nuclear or fissile material. Okay. Right. They're okay. going to be in that area. In the, the, the Olympic is, Games in Paris. Okay. Yeah, but through through some very sophisticated ways, they can get beyond this this sniff. Any dog sniffing out any uh, fissile material. So this is what you're looking at. 
right? They're bringing legions of dogs in there. The, the best qualified that can sniff out this stuff. It's not going to work. Uh, I'll say it again. They have bioweapons. A person can simply swallow a pill. Now, listen to this. They okay. can swallow a pill. 13 hours later, this person's infected with no symptoms. Everybody they're in proximity with, right, that will breathe any molecule coming off their body will then be infected with an active agent which means you can essentially infect a million people in less than a couple of hours. And nobody right? even knows they're so, infected. No, nobody will know. Because there's no symptoms until yet. Until they start dropping dead, right? Because what? when you have symptoms, you have about, you got about an hour and you're done for, right? You're done for. You're just, you're done for. And these are some of the bad boys that are developed in, in uh, well, we have a few we've developed like I'm that. sure we right? have. And when yeah. they... When Hawaii is is part of the uh, NBC, that's where the NBC schools used to be, and they they would take these these bioagents that they would develop, but they had no cure for, and they would put them in a vial, put that vial in a capsule, put that capsule in a steel tube, put that steel tube in a concrete almost like a concrete uh, square tube, they would take that and drop it right down in the bottom of a volcano or near a volcano where they can vault it underneath the ocean. Right, because you can't do anything with it. If any of those things were to ever get out, only only our father could do something about it. So we there there are things that mankind has made that they cannot stop if released. Right, and I've seen it. Pastor, I went out there and did training. I've seen cows turn inside out. You know, they would tell us at dawn to mop four, and then uh, you better make sure your seal is right. They'd walk us out there, and you would essentially see a small canister with nothing that came out, and then a cow. And then another cow would turn inside out. Then they would scrub the area. They were showing you how real this is, right? How real chemical war was. Um, and training you how to don that that uh, nuclear biological chemical suit, right? Out there in NBC school mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So these things are real and they're deadly. But right now they have it in capsule form. They have things in capsule form. If a terrorist, and you know these terrorists from Israel and Hamas, these tensions. They are ready to die. A thousand, some of them are saying they die a thousand times. They are ready. They want to die. Yeah. To exact revenge. These capsules are real. They could take these capsules. Um, they can control due to the makeup how, how they, you know, they have time release capsules. So they can determine how long this capsule is going to last until it hits that high infection point. They can determine this. Right. Chemical weapons, same thing. So you don't need to bring anything with you. They could pat somebody down all day. Once it's in the body, it's going to be part of their DNA. The They're person itself anyway. will be the weapon. The right. human being anyway. itself. This, right. Now, think about this. But this can be passed ball. This can happen anywhere. It can. Do you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Anywhere. Now, how safe is air travel? Not good. How, how, how smart is it to be in the wake of a Hamas? Israeli, uh, um, these contentions where you have most of the world who has become sympathetic to Hamas against Israel. Yes, How yes. smart is it to support any Western um, um, ways in lieu of this event when you know that people hate the West too? Yeah, I know. Right? They want Israel destroyed. Yes, they, they do. They want the USA destroyed yes. as well. Little Satan, and they big are, Satan. They will never they'll never stop pursuing that at some point they're going to act on it and we're going to pay for it because i'll say this one thing again nobody can attack israel and nobody can occupy israel for three and a half years with the usa in power and sober that's not going to happen yeah so what in the world happens to the usa that israel and prophecy can be um, uh, occupied yep. for three for and a half 40, years for under months. a violent rule right well, it means the United States has uh, handed itself over. It's been taken over. Or, in my opinion, in a dream I had, they literally, the Congress votes to uh, hand us over to the United Nations, uh, to turn us over to a governing body. Um, uh, and um, even though there will be a lot of resistors in the nation itself, you know, then, then a foreign army can come in and, and, and mop up. Um, here. And fight against. It's already here. It's already, already here. here. Already here. Already so, here. all right, Mike. So now, that it's incredible. You're dropping bombs here tonight. Really, really important ones, but they are. Let me ask you a question. This is just a little bit off the topic, or maybe not. Okay. So, you you remember when King Charles came into power? 
Yes. Uh, and you said, you look, there's certain things can't be done unless it's a decree made by the king, not a right. queen. Right. His portrait came out, which I thought was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It looks like he's coming out of the red, out of the mm-hmm. out of the blood. I, I, why in the world that would be the official portrait of the king is beyond he is me. The great red. He is. He listen to me. He is the great red dragon. Do you okay. not know that people have gotten down on their knees? Right when he took that position, they got down on their knees and kissed his bare feet and swore their oath of loyalty to him. There are several acts that will never be televised, that are always secret, right? Um, I I believe the passing of the cloak is in there. He dons the cloak of the great red dragon. That's their cloak that that they don. That's what he's known as, the great red dragon, which means the king dragon, right? That the head one. So any type royal person will always don this red dragon emblem you're gonna you're gonna see it in fact all you have to do is think of red dragon and start looking at anything concerning royalty in the uk and you'll start to see it everywhere it, it, it was with queen elizabeth ii although she can't have full powers of the of the dragon she can't do that and uh, but he does he has full powers of the dragon Right. He doesn't need anybody else. He has full powers and everybody recognizes that. He also controls and leads the faith of the church in that name. Do you know that? Mm, yeah, How in the, the world head, is that? This the the way everything is set up. That's right. That's the way everything is set up. Just like the old days. In the old days, a president would also be the be the, that that ruling individual over all faith. Which just like King Nebuchadnezzar is where it came from, King Nebuchadnezzar. Now because that's been their cloak that they, you know, have all the time. I'm, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the biblical red dragon. I don't believe that at all. But, you know, that's what they do. I do believe they have a role, right? But, but you know, historically, you got to watch because some of these people have names. They even have the attire that matches biblical prophecy, and they ended up having nothing to do with biblical prophecy. Right. The prophecy ended up covering something totally different outside of them. So with 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 prophecy, region, origin, you know, stuff's important. And the, and it, more importantly, the spirit they actually carry and some of these ceremonies. Right. If people knew about some of these hidden ceremonies, they wouldn't doubt prophecy at all. They would be looking, really looking. But we know that this this Antichrist person right. uh, in, in my estimation. Okay, this guy is no joke. The, the forces around him are no joke. He is not a respecter of, of women, right? He has no desire of a woman. This guy is uh, something else. We live in days, Pastor Paul, where they stopped this alien disclosure thing, right? Right. Because a ceremony will happen. The doors will open and something will come forth. But it's not going to be... Um, it's just not going to be what everybody thinks. But and a lot of a lot of Christians, they hear this word delusion, right? I have to remind, I'm reminded of the scripture when in, in the Bible it says, God will send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie, that they all might be damned yes, to love not that. the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, which means only those who do not love the truth, right? Yes. You know, those people who like their own truth or you know, something like that, those who don't love the truth which is the truth that's already there. They're the ones that are going to be given over to this delusion. And when God does it, they will not escape it. And the sole purpose is so they'll be damned, right? Part of his kingdom. You know, this, but that this, kingdom, I fear, is coming. Ooh, it's, it's, uh, you have things picture, happening in Israel. <laughs> this picture right here of the king for a second. If you yeah. take this p- picture and you put it to a mirror and look at it, it looks like there's a Baphomet in the center. If you take this this actual picture and you put it next to a mirror and create the mirror image, it creates the image of a baff, bafflement. I saw it yesterday myself. I did it myself to see, and it did, which is weird. Why would that? Well, people have a you know these that picture right there. Yeah, right? yeah. That picture is covered by three red filters, one blue filter, and one yellow filter. So if you have the right, uh, I believe it's in Photoshop. If you have the right. Um, uh, the right filter set. You can then see what that picture is. 
but I can't really see anything yeah, else. But yeah, somebody yeah. else will have to find that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go digging and find. It. I'll get Israel Hall. Israel, Israel, Israel Hall. Find Hall. It. He could find. Yeah, he, he could find. He could make me a gladiator. Yeah, he could find that. Okay, so he could find. <laughs> all right, go back to Israel. You you just got there to say something. I don't want to stop. Yeah, they um uh Israel right is it, it seems like everything in the Middle East is trying to halt Israel from from being free at this moment, specifically at this moment. Right. Yes. Uh, you're looking at a time when Israel had planned some declarations, which would have drawn the world's. Yeah, everybody would have looked at Israel. Right. Everybody would have looked at Israel. So, but it was halted because of this issue, this situation. Now, Benjamin Netanyahu, right? Yep. He is for. He is for this. He's not against it. And if you take note, he's the one that quotes scripture. A lot, right? Yes, he does. Yeah. He does. And but the rest of them, you don't really hear that from. He's actually tied in to bringing something forward, which, to my understanding, right? This is my personal understanding to what I was uh, privy to could happen in less than four days, in a four-day period. Um, all of it could come together. All of it could come together in less than four days. Okay. Are you because talking- it takes military support. Right. It's going to take military support. It's going to take uh, certain industries. They all have to be coordinated. And Benjamin Netanyahu, right, he already had that. He already has some things set up. He has some things actually set up, and then it, it was halted. You know, some force is, is, it a is two really st- not wanting this to happen. Is it way. a two-state solution? No, we're not talking about that. Okay. We're talking about something that would make the whole world look at Israel Um very differently for a time, right? I, I it probably, I, I don't know. Is it got but to do with Benjamin, Iran? Does that have anything to do with, I mean, I, I mean. No, it has to do with something ancient, actually. Okay, okay. Something ancient. Uh, right. Something that he's really tied into. Wow. And, um, but the liberal side, the liberal components of Israel, right, which are more modern. Don't want it. They, they are with these new policies. That people have all around the globe, uh, you know, kind of like people used to talk about transhumanism. Now they talk about something else, and yep. these, some of these liberals are behind that. They're also behind uh, against some of the um, stricter ideologies of the Torah. They are they're against it. Yeah, uh, they're they're modernized, which means they are compromised, yeah. right? Yeah. And and so they want to step in power. Now take note of this, Pastor. They will eventually. They're going to do it, right? Yeah. If they take power, you better believe there's someone dark among them. Mm. Someone never suspected. I mean, darkest of dark, who is not even part of Israel, right? Mm. See, this is a conundrum that they're facing right now. And this is a window where they can actually do it. But they got to get Benjamin so Netanyahu and those who are loyal out of the way, out. out of there. Yeah. So, so they painted a bad picture, and the world believes it. Yeah, they have, and they're going to take him to if they could. They'll take him to the International Criminal Court if, or in the U.S. They'll give him exile or something will happen. Or the other thing. Or the will other happen. thing. Yeah. That's the sad a, thing. That's will not a good thing. No. No, nope, because he'll be in a coffin. Right. All right. Now let's talk about this. And, and wow. Let's talk about this. We got the 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 sun is exploding, it, it the solar flares, the storms, the tornadoes are tearing up America at record. The the meteorologists have just come out and said La Nina is going to create that. The, the, they said today, I saw it on the Weather Channel, that the ocean temperatures are what are normally in mid July right now. And they're anticipating this to be the worst hurricane season ever on record. Your thoughts? They're eating crow, number one. So that's why they threw La Nina into it. Okay. Right? La Nina has nothing to do with it. Okay. Okay. Uh, They just, you know, a lot of these meteorologists are prideful. Some of them are prideful, right? They don't want to be wrong. In In the weather business, it can be quite cruel. You know, somebody says, oh, you messed up the forecast. All of a sudden, they get a complex, and they're trying to be right. They can get a bit arrogant sometimes. A lot of these meteorologists are behind saving the planet, to keep that in mind, right? So they, they don't agree with anything uh, that will kill the planet, 
So their tree, you know, they believe in that strongly, but they have an understanding that they've run out of time too. And as we had talked before, there'll come a time when they can't cover up certain things. So they'll have to speak about it. And when they speak about it, unfortunately, people will say that they're the experts on it, right? right. Because they have the they have the mouthpiece or whatever. Uh, they do understand about the oceans. The people uh, should receive, you know, they should warn the people about the weather and not, not uh, sensationalize their careers. In that respect, Pastor Paul, right. this is a very serious season. Right. Think of a hurricane that would consume the entirety. Think of the size that would consume the entirety of the East Coast. Right. That's crazy. Now, a hurricane at the same time the fires have started. Mm. Because the fires are they're gonna start to uh, go all over the place. But this at a time when thunderstorms, the average thunderstorm carries eighty to ninety mile an hour winds. What? I know last we just night, had that. We just had we're having there were a set of thunderstorms last night. Okay. Guess what the wind speeds were? 80, 84 miles an 84 hour. 84 miles an hour. Night before that, there were some thunderstorms that quickly dissipated. Guess what the wind speeds were? 90. 81 miles an hour. That's that's, that's hurricane. That's, that's hurricane. Just for a thunderstorm. Yeah, just for a thunderstorm. Yeah. And so it is only by God's grace that these things dissipated, right? Uh there's a cold um pattern or let's just just some leftover cold patterns uh from some of the water currents coming up north um but that's not going to last all of them are going to go away when there's no more of these cold currents to change the temperature these storms will not be abated so that means at night normally at night uh severe storms kind of ease up a little bit because of cooler temperatures. It's not going to happen. We're about to go through a thermal event we've not gone through before, right? Now, when you can strike a match a few times, but when it hits a, the right conditions, kapoof, correct? All right. We're about to hit the right conditions. And so all this weather phenomena is going to translate into something else nobody talked about. Mm. Right, nobody talked about it. Is that why they're, they're so coming up with these new terms? Different. These new terms: pol- polar vortex, uh, atmospheric rivers, uh, rain cy- cyclone bombs, uh, rain bombs. If you know, uh, uh, we're, we're getting hypers canes now. They're discussing those uh, new terms to deal with thunderbolts. I mean, just That's new right. terms. Uh, softball hail. You know, we had four inch hail this week in Texas. And Oklahoma. Uh, I mean, it's just now this is becoming common now. It, it, this is what you said. Straight nine winds that tore Houston power towers down. Unbelievable. It's Shattered glass. It's just beginning. When the heat rises, these wind speeds are going to jump, right? We know at some point the jet stream is going to reverse. It's going to change. It will reverse. That's It'll be um, extreme chaotic patterns. And, and, and believe it or not, Hurricanes can cause a jet stream to reverse. They can. So we're actually right now at the precipice of this change. And if they reverse, everything in the USA is going to turn into dust, literally. Right? But we still have a water event to worry about. Okay. We're going to have a water event. We're going to have that water event. You know, right now, I have a. there's another great concern. It's even greater than war, believe it or not. And it's a problem we talked about a long time ago. Some of these ice sheets. Yes. We're about to have an, uh, an event. We're, we're soon to have an event. It's already rippling. You know, this ice sheet fell three inches. And every time it does that, it causes these massive ripples. You're talking about something that can send a small wave to just about every continent. That's what you're talking about. The sheer size of this ice, because it's melting from underneath, right? So it essentially looks like it's, it's standing up on a toothpick. That's what it looks like. When that toothpick further melts, it's not going to hold up this large sheet of ice. That ice will begin to turn over, right, which is going to cause a, a, a huge wave to go all over the place. But we just don't have one. One is the size. Of, we, have, we have places the size of Texas, right, that are ready to break off. They're ready no! to just break off. You mean not ice like sheet the movies. from the ice sheet. That's right. That's right. Now, we're not talking about the movies. Not like them. Forget about the movies. It's, it's not like the movies. In fact, if it, if it were to happen right now, 
people would notice some sort of a seismic wave going out. It would it would look like a seismic wave, but they wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Then all of a sudden the buoys would start reporting, you know, that agitation, the waves. Then all of a sudden maybe a small, a two foot wave would hit the shorelines everywhere, right? But it would keep coming because after that two water foot wave would be another two foot wave. It would start pushing water inland at a very yeah. slow speed. And without making any noise, not some dramatic entrance, not some huge tsunami, but over the course of an hour, people would notice everything would be wet. Would, people would walk outside, look at their front yards, and see the reflection of the sky. Would Planet X be in the, uh, uh, I mean, would be visible or would be, I think, I mean, we already can see it. Infrared, somehow they can see it, we can't, but. Does this thing come more into play, or at least the moons that go around Planet X? Is what do this, you mean? If, well, what do you mean? Well, I mean, when the water starts rising, that means this uh-huh. binary system is getting is going by closer. It's 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 disturbing. Well, actually, actually, Pastor Paul, here here's the issue, and this is why it's a, a, a concern with the conditions we have right now. Right, it could happen right now. Really. It could happen. They already pulled the research teams back. They used to have an underwater research uh, teams would go down there and check this out. They pulled them back. It's unsafe. It's deemed unsafe. They can't do it. And so they know that ice sheet is about to drop. So this could happen at any moment. This doesn't need any changes in conditions. We have the conditions. We're right already now. there. You're saying we're already yeah, there. We're already the ice there. sheets. The ice right. sheets could fall any time now. We're already there. Yeah, and it has already shifted uh, a couple times. It's already shifted. Right now. Any reflection of that data could or could not have already been seen online. Of course, they can alter that anything they want because they run the machines and output the actual data, right? As a Java algorithm with some, you know, DirectX tech. But uh, they can do anything they want to do to filter that, make it look like anything, but they have no explanation for it. And uh, they already pulled the teams back from it. This is happening at the North and South Poles. I see. Yep. So we're already in trouble. So we could have that water event at any moment. Well, the part that concerns me is I know that after this water event, well, goodbye rain, right? Because with that ice changing the temperatures of the waters or influencing that, it's okay. going to cause a, a process to speed up so fast, it'll just essentially burn itself out. And when that takes place, right, with some of that, it believe me, ice that much ice changing temperatures in the ocean is going to cause a massive effect in the atmosphere, which will cause a related effect on the land. But most of all, it'll set up a type of fog, right? A perpetual fog, which is going to diffuse sunlight. With that change in sunlight, we're going to have different, that, that's when the clouds actually will begin to evaporate. That's when the processes, the natural convective processes will change. Because our temperature gradients are too high, um, some of the points of the point of no return, they would call it, is we've already reached that twice. And uh, ocean temperatures will just go back up again. So this process by simulation will cause the clouds to just totally be gone, dissipate. And they're going to be gone until the system starts itself again. So what that means is storms are highly tied to ocean currents, right? Yes. Clouds are tied to ocean currents and temperatures of those ocean currents. And so when that's disturbed, it will disturb if we see clouds or not. And at that point, we because we already have effects from in the heavens happening upon the earth, we've already reached uh, certain conditions. And again, they pull the research teams back. They won't be going back to those places. Meaning it's too dangerous. Sunset. There's no need to have yeah. them there anymore. We already know what's going to happen, right. and we're at the brink of it. That's right. That's right. They know. And what they, about the volcano? Would... What about the volcano in Italy? I know you talk about that in the webinar, so you don't have to right. go very far. But it, 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 you've always said that Italy, a major earthquake, a major super volcano. You oh, yeah. know, you're Those always poor concerned. people are not going to be warned. Yeah, because they won't be warned. How can they? You remember last time in Lee was warned that a volcano was going to erupt, right? And it did not erupt. Yeah. And the scientists went to jail. Yeah. For for That's for why. panicking the people. So now nobody's going to say nothing. So how can yeah. anybody warn anybody 
about a pending eruption. They can't do that because if it's wrong, see, when you're dealing with these type scientific predictions, they they may or may not happen. There's yeah. no guarantee like that Iceland happen. Iceland's right. had two major volcanoes. That's right. And people think it's probably over now. But it's still a and very it it's a it's a very dangerous area, isn't it? See, and, and again, that's why you need Christians who have this information, Pastor Paul, to come forward with the Holy Ghost conviction Amen. to say what the Holy Spirit is giving them without reservation, because it's going to be needed. Imagine if somebody would have spoke loudly and said, "Hey." Texas is about to have a set of storms. It's really going to hurt some people. And they did that by the Holy Spirit. They didn't yeah. even hold back. That would have helped people. You know, a couple of people did. Yeah. But for the majority of folks, they did not. Because there's always this reservation. Well, what if it doesn't happen? And this is that time when Christians have to dare to stand out in their faith and say, well, so what? Amen. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it for the Lord. So what if people look at me strange? They already look at me strange. So what's going to make it, you know, what difference what is that going to make? What difference is it going to make? But, be, but go forward, be responsible and as accurate as possible for the kingdom of God, not for, you know, for the other people, because right now these, these are great consequences that are coming. Yeah. Lives are yeah. going to be lost yeah. in great numbers. Yeah. Cities are going to start burning. People, they're going to get agitated with this heat. People are going to, there's going to be an outbreak in violence in cities because of the heat. Watch what happens when heat sustains itself over 96 degrees. Watch what happens to people. I've seen this phenomenon happen time and time again, right? The elderly are at great risk. Yes. And, and, you know, I always encourage people to look after those elderly folks around you because they may not be able to do anything themselves. Make sure you know who they are and check on them as you would check on yourself or your own kids. Right. Check on those folks. Right. Don't forget about them. Don't do it um, because we're going to need things like that. Right. Yeah. This we're going to have. We're, look, the power companies are ready. They're ready. I'm just telling people. So that means that the hottest times of the year, people better learn how to cool themselves down. Right. Yeah. They better learn it. It's going now. to be the hottest summer they ever. Better you, learn you, it. You've said last year was going to be, and it was. Are you anticipating that again this summer? Oh yeah. 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 Even yeah. hotter. Our conditions have not changed. They've gotten worse. Yeah. They've got that. Whatever the the um, temperatures and the atmosphere and the storms that we're having now, we normally have two, three, four months from now, right? Or, yeah. or two, three months from now. This is July weather that we're having in yes. many different places. Ocean temperatures are going to just top records unless the Lord intervenes. And as this continues, it's going to degrade. Weather conditions will degrade our infrastructure even more. We can't take much more water past all. We're at a bursting point this year, right? This if the same great. water amount hits us this year that it did last year, this is when you notice the highways buckling, bridges falling, things of that nature, right? And we know that if that begins to happen, these evil folks that are already in this country are going to take full advantage, yes, right? Yes. Germany, same thing. Germany is not out of the woods. France is not out of the woods. They're right in the middle of a hornet's nest of fire. And they know that things are planned to take over the cities, multiple cities. So we live in very chaotic times. We live in a time of a, where we could actually see this year a split government. This year we could see a split government. Not next year, this year. And what that means is uh, people would select their own president to represent a set, uh, a set group of states while everybody else would operate a different yep. way. Yep. We may have no choice. Governors I'm will take over now. the states as, we may as, have if no they are, as if they are their nation. Uh, and we may right have no now, choice. That's right. Because right now, right, I'll say this one thing. Now, I know I'm a motor mouth, but right now they already said that the rule of law is twisted in America and you have important people that cannot follow the rule of law under flawed, the flawed leadership that they have right now. They right. can't do it. So they've um, listened that they, they, they're as well. They're already getting together. Contingency right? The plans. governors have already spoken, right? Yeah. So they're going to follow who they follow, but they're not going to, they're not going to tolerate any enforcement of the other side in a very corrupt uh, system that you know that they perceive right so people might want to get ready for all these things now you might want to keep an eye on what ron DeSantis does in florida and what greg abbott does in texas and a few other governors uh doug bergen Absolutely. up there in north dakota and, yeah. and and maybe uh, uh the one in south uh, dakota uh and several others okay there's some good governors and what you're saying is 
some things may happen that supersedes the federal government's uh, yeah. d- uh, yep. jurisdiction, and we're going to have yep. to just do it ourselves. Um, yep. Yep. And I and I believe that. I see that. I actually see that. And and you're saying that the contingency plans are already being worked on for these very issues. Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. Again, I'm going to say wow. Mike, next week, we we may have a verdict. We may have a verdict by this time next Thursday night. I don't know if we will, but it'll be close to that. Also, how important you now, you know, you you gave your presentation for this webinar pole shift. But yeah. how important is it that people listen to what these guys have to say? I've had the privilege of hearing every one of you and it's the best ever. But but what is your your thoughts? Well, you know, the, the, the folks involved, right? Um, they've had this same they've had the same story for a long time. In order to hold a story with such passion for some time, you have a great concern about others. Right. Right. And uh, sometimes people can people put other people down in real strange ways. But make no mistake, these guys, you know, they're they're they're, they're I've heard some of them. Right. They're on the money about things yep. that they shouldn't be on the money about. Yep. OK. And they cover deep concerns that people have spent billions of dollars to prepare for. Right. So they they're driven by passion for the sake of the people. I bet you not one of them would do what they were doing if it were just them. Right. Right. But they do have they a do heart for people. The people. They have yes, a heart for do. people. Yes. They right. Do. And so they, they 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 also they're driven by something, by a curiosity, something they can yeah. see yeah. that that's very difficult to articulate, very difficult to explain. They're driven by they're not going to stop doing that. Right. That's obviously a calling that they have. Right. That's what a calling is. That's when you're not going to stop that. That one thing that nobody can stop you doing. Right. Yep. You, you and, and these guys are put. they're trying to put it forward. People are going to find themselves under a myriad of conditions where not just one person is right. Right. But it's that a collective. You know, the some bi- sound the, advice for them. Yeah, right? that's great. The in bi- my opinion, yes. in my opinion, Pastor, God is going to be right in the end. But the Lord gave us a portion of his truth, each of us. Yes. Right. So then each of us carries a component of truth. If we can consider the Lord said a wise man is slow to speak and quick to listen. If we can consider what these folks are giving out. Right. Just take it under consideration and don't be the person. Oh, that'll never happen because all those people in my experience end up dead or losing people. That's that's what they end up doing. Wow. They end up dead. They end up casualties of their own complaints, but they, you know, don't be one of those people, but just take it under consideration, give it considerable thought. Right. Yep. But I pray about things a lot. So does, you know, a lot of people do and let the Lord God, because if somebody speaks a truth in you, that truth is going to come forward one day. Amen. But if you don't have that truth in you, you don't know what you can trust. No. And you, you people, they're going to, experts are going to come and give people a false narrative fastball. And I'm telling you now, People are going to run to people they don't even know with the exact same information, but they're going to be speaking propaganda while God has given his people truth. They're going to ignore the truth, go with the propaganda because of earthly credentials. I've seen a lot of people with, I even have certain credentials, right? Forget about, right. I want people with spiritual credentials. Amen. Like those things that uh, they, they speak, dare to speak things that nobody else is going to speak. Prophetic. Stick with their story. A prophetic. That's or, right. Yeah. And, That's and right. get revelation information and have That's a passion right. for what they're trying to find out about. Uh, and that's what you're saying. Well, you because know, I've heard everybody else's stuff. Yeah, I have. I've heard everybody else's stuff. The experts. I've well, there's one thing they about see, it. They can't do anything. There's about a scripture that. in the Bible that says there is safety in a multitude of counselors. Amen. And so I think Amen. what we've done is we've gathered a multitude. We've gathered a group of counselors who are very passionate about this very subject, have quite a bit of knowledge, each of them in their own right. And collectively, it is a, it is a beautiful thing hearing all the components. It really is. And it will really give people an education on this very subject and how yeah. we should be preparing for it because it is coming. And, yeah. and uh, so, guys, get your ticket. Don't miss this webinar. Mike, appreciate everything you're doing, everything you've done. Thank you, including the Patreon video you did on the what happened in the fog. I appreciate all of that, and uh, 
look forward to talking to you next week if we're still here. <laughs> well, God bless fastball. It's always an honor, brother. Always right. an honor. The honor's mine. God bless. All right. God bless. <laughs>